Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And just to show you how insane this so-called diversity and equality stuff has gotten to me, take a look at this story. Now, this is a trade union in the UK. It's not in America. Not that I wouldn't be surprised if this happened here. Uh, the trade union is called the University and College Union. Very simple. And the conference was an equality conference of university and college union. And what they did is they basically excluded anybody who was, any man who was white and straight and able-bodied. <clears throat> Because we're not a member of a protected group. In order to attend their summit, you have to be a member of a protected group. Which means anything but us. Anything but white males. White straight males. Now, this is sickening. And it should be internationally condemned, but of course it won't be. I'm sure the libs in this country love this. Lecturers Union is refusing to let its officers take part in debates and the equality summit if they're white, straight, able-bodied men. The Equality Conference of the University and College Union said that members must declare their protected characteristic, whether they're homosexual, disabled, female, or from an ethnic minority when applying to attend. So in other words, you don't count as a human being if you're a white male. Activists say it means representatives who don't qualify, cannot participate in all of the discussions, even though they may have been elected by their union branch. They will be barred from breakout sessions that organizers claim are a safe space for those with a protected characteristic to talk about their situations. There are four sections of the conference for women, uh, LGBT, ethnic minorities, and those with disabilities. So the only thing we count as, if you're an able-bodied white male, you count as a revenue stream. That's all we're here for. These reps, reps would be barred from debates on areas that they were not affected by, and a straight white man who was not disabled would be unable to attend any. And here they're calling this an equality conference. Well, uh, this is, like I said, this is sickening, and it's evil. Yesterday, critics branded the policy ridiculous, arguing that people from all white walks of life can be dedicated to the cause of equality. That's true. Emma Jane Phillips, who sits on the UCU Equality Committee, said that equality reps are passionate about equality regardless of their own situation. To infer someone does not understand someone's situation just because they don't Tick a box is insulting. She's right. The North Umbria University lecture said it meant some refs would have to lie about having a protected characteristic to be able to attend, something she said she would be unwilling to do. She told Higher Times Education Magazine it is ridiculous that people who regard equality as their life cannot attend the Equality Conference. This is absolutely right. So, there you have it. Uh, in the UK, apparently, if you're a straight white male, and you're able to work, you're considered to be nothing more than a revenue stream. At least by this union. There's the name of it one more time. University and College Union. 
and they consider you, if you're a white male who's able-bodied and you're straight, they consider you to be nothing more than a revenue stream. You're not even a human being anymore. This is getting out of hand. It's about time we start fighting back. I don't know how. I'm not talking, when I say fighting back, I don't mean with guns, but we've got to do something more and just talk about this because, you know, you're, if you're a straight white male, you're in trouble. All these protected groups are, uh, budging you out of life. We no longer exist as human beings. We're revenue streams, like I said. I'm Artifacts Mars, utterly disgusted by this. Have a good night.